with us. Time for discussion or an interview. Here we're looking at the proposed amendment to the Films and Stage Plays Act. Uh, I'm having a group here of uh, representatives from the industry itself. They, they are aggrieved by what uh, needed to be done and they wish if uh, the KFCB is disbanded. I'm speaking to Peter Mudamba. I'm sure you have seen this man on your screen for several years if uh, you know you in my age group, <laughs> that is. And I'm speaking also to Ray Odanga. He's a lawyer. Uh, they will be telling us more about this. And to have a reflection on this particular bill, they are looking forward to be, uh, if KFCB would be disbanded. Uh, there are some proposals that changed to the Cap 222 of the 222 of the Act and Play. And so to begin with, I need to know, Peter, Shidayai bill in Inini Miwasumbosana, because you people have been making a lot of noise. Yeah, I think um, one of the things that we actually we would like to uh, have very clear to every individual is that uh, freedom of expression is enshrined in the 2010 Constitution. And being enshrined in the 2010 Constitution, it then means that um, every individual is supposed to be free uh, to express themselves and to associate with any person. And these freedoms also come, because I'll end up talking about it even more deeply, they mm -hmm. come also with artistic and creativity freedoms. I am from the background of theater mm -hmm. into film, and right now I represent the Creative Economy Working Group, which is a group of uh, 18 creative associations in Kenya, mm -hmm. which uh, comes to seek uh, policy changes mm -hmm. in the spaces where we feel totally aggrieved. So how does this CAP 222 aggrieve us? It aggrieves me from the time when I was in theater. Okay. And I remember that um, in um, the year, um, there about 20, 20, 2012, 20, not 2012, in fact, 2006 two or, or thereabouts, mm -hmm. there was a lot of hue and cry around the issue of um, the CAP 222. Because then, in those years, we used to go to Nyayo House and you had to give a script to um, some censor. It used to be called the censorship board. Mm -hmm. And this censorship board would look at the script and decide whether it is going to get on stage or not. And in those years, we used to act plays such as um, An Enemy of the People. Right. And if you went with that kind of a play to Nyayo House, you'd be chased. When I'm going to talk about who is the enemy? <laughs> because that regime did not want anything to do with enemies, although mm -hmm. there were very many enemies in that time. Mm -hmm. So, fast forward, as they tried to continue burning, I remember uh, those years when Steve Mwenesi went to court and that stage plays act was actually um, pushed aside and we were able to continue performing those plays, mm -hmm. the fate of a cockroach, enemy of the people and all the plays you wanted to, to, to perform. Mm -hmm. Right now, with the KFCB, which is supposed to be the Kenya Film Classification Board, the C is for classification, but KFCB has taken it upon themselves to be censoring films. Mm -hmm. I am now in film, I moved from theater to film. Right. So they come and censor. The work of KFCB is supposed to be classify. Say this film is supposed to be watched by people between the age of this to this. Mm -hmm. This film will be watched by adults. But when they come to ban and censor films which do not infringe the freedom of expression as enshrined in the constitution, and we shall go into the explanation if you want to, mm -hmm. then it becomes an infringement to us because I, as a person who works in film, we find filmmakers. And we find filmmakers to do what? To go into independent filmmaking. Their creativity is supposed to be totally independent, not tampered with. You should not come and start telling me, change this script at the end, let it look like this the way uh, some people at KFCB would like to do things. Mm -hmm. The creative freedoms are enshrined in the Constitution, and that's why we say KFCB should remain on its lane, mm -hmm. or it should be disbanded. It should classify. All right, or hold on that thought. Now, uh, Ray, that's the problem they feel they are being infringed by the KFCB. And considering uh, content generation and film production, 
there are some things that are done in this country and we have an agency or a, or a group of people who control what we view on our mainstream me media or even social media. Do you think the, uh, the allegations of the problems they feel they are pressed by the KFCB, are they true? Yes, thank you for that question. Um, first of all, the current law we are using, CAP 222, plus the guidelines, are colonial the relics. Mm -hmm. They've been there since 1962. So meaning that during the colonial period, in order to calm down dissent, right. the colonists decided to come up with this law mm -hmm. so that uh, playmakers, people like in, uh, Ngugi Wathiongo, mm -hmm. could not easily, and other artists could not easily express themselves through plays. There were plays that were banned during mm -hmm. that time mm -hmm. to ensure that any dissent was calmed down and the status quo remained. Right. Now, with the current law that we have, the CAP 222, and its guidelines, mm -hmm. they tend to infringe and curtail the right to freedom of expression as provided for in, in Article 33 of the Constitution of Kenya. Mm -hmm. If you look at Article 33 of the Constitution of Kenya, it provides for freedom of expression, which extends up to freedom of our ac academic work mm -hmm. and scientific innovation. But now, for any law, for there to be a law that tends to limit the freedom of expression, mm -hmm that law must be provided for mm -hmm. it must be provided for mm -hmm. it's more it, it must be necessary in an open and just society okay. but in the current situ situation the way kfcb and the board the, the the kfcb board the regulations and the act mm -hmm. they've curtailed they've limited freedom of expression mm -hmm. the law in itself is a cake is a colonial relic and even britain itself does not use such law. They've moved away from it. Oh, okay. When they find that a movie or something is a bit controversial, the best they can do is to rate it. They can rate it for the adults, mm -hmm. for the children. Mm -hmm. But here, the highest kind of burning, the highest kind of rating in Kenya is burning a movie. I can give you, for example, mm -hmm. the celebrated movie called Rafiki is banned in Kenya due to this archaic mm -hmm. laws that we have. Mm -hmm. But when you go outside there, you go to the East African state, you go out, outside in, in Africa, you go to Europe, you go to the Americas, you go to whatever part of the world. Mm -hmm. You find that it's a movie that is celebrated, the director is celebrated. So it's only in Kenya that we find such kind of attainment. And, and in, in, your, in your own view, do you think it's a good thing if we are being protected either morally or something? Isn't it a good thing? Yeah, the creative, the creative, the creative industry, mm -hmm like any other industry in Kenya, has to be regulated. And they don't fear to be regulated. Right. But now it comes at a, it, it comes when now there's discrimination in this kind of uh, regulation. Mm -hmm. So instead of banning a movie, mm -hmm. or banning a play, or banning something that you s feel that it's not uh, good for public consumption, mm -hmm. there are other ways in which you can try to to limit the viewership right and it's for the consumers to mm -hmm. to decide on whether they want to watch it or not all right yes I Peter, like you want to weigh on like that i want to, to weigh in a bit uh, before you respond to yes, that yes. i'll give you an opportunity to respond to that and yes. even so yeah. i have an article here mm -hmm. that was written in 2016 or 25 yeah 20, 25th of october 2016 mm -hmm. it was on the review of the film and stage plays act of 222 yeah. and now the representatives drawn from the creative industry at the kenya film classification board mm. are on this 25th of october resolved to continue engaging on the review of the film and stage play acts of two two at the time the parties also agreed unanimously to end the acrimony that has pervaded the initiative to review the act which aims to make it consistent with the constitution to address new industry demands in the interest of creative industry he has uh, spoken of uh, the current uh, cap 222 is from kitambo okay, okay. now living today has agreed that time four mm. years down the line what happened as you respond to what you're saying well, first of all, you talked about um, uh, uh, people being protected and uh, uh, the moral police and the like. Mm -hmm. But I want to say, um, as an individual, I love the law and I'm, I, I like to keep the law. And I would like to say here and clearly that um, 
uh, in my entire life. I've never been in any criminal act. I've never been taken to court for anything when, when it comes to infringing the law. Mm -hmm. And yet I've been an artist through and through. The way to protect the citizenry mm -hmm. uh, from anything is also based on the Constitution. And the Constitution clearly says that uh, the artistic and creative freedoms that you have, mm -hmm. whether you're talking about freedom of expression as a whole, shall not include freedom for propaganda for war mm -hmm. or hate speech mm -hmm. or incitement to violence or, in the end, should not be able to harm or criminalize somebody. And all criminal activities are usually there in the penal code. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when it comes to, again, because you talked about it on the film Rafiki, mm -hmm. it will be good to be told. Because I know who I am, and people know what they do and what they believe in. Mm -hmm. But I would like to be told legally, because then we talk legal, staff where does rafiki infringe as per the constitution mm -hmm. in what section of the constitution especially on article 33 does that film harm anybody does it harm does it cause anything to do with the um, uh, uh, violence mm -hmm. has it brought in hate speech has it gone into any kind of propaganda that will harm anybody i would like to know that but at the same time mm -hmm. The protections are also there. As an example, why would um, a person want to believe that um, by watching a, a film, as an example, where um, there is um, a vampire mm -hmm. which is sucking people's blood, that I will become a vampire? Mm -hmm. That if I watch a film where there is a lot of bombing and fighting, I'll end up becoming an Al-Qaeda or an Al-Shabaab mm -hmm. because I watched a film. This film was given a respite in 2018 for a window of one week to be watched so that it can go into Oscars. We would like to know as an example. So within that window, mm -hmm. did, was, was there, what, what did KCB come to most likely then prove to people that, you see, after they watched, mm -hmm. all of Kenya became, and they are now like that, and that's why you don't want this kind of film. Mm -hmm. What we mean is, simply, I am a creative. Let me be free to imagine other worlds. Let me be free to create mm -hmm. what is there and what I imagine, even if it is into the apocalyptic world and show it to the world so that you can be able to share creatively. But after I've created that, you can come and prove to me that this can infringe, therefore we let it be watched by people over 18, mm -hmm. or we won't allow kids below this age to watch it because of. But censorship and banning, that's too harsh, because when you look at the amount of money that goes into filmmaking, mm -hmm. and the filmmaker is trying to recoup and just make their own back, mm -hmm. and you ban it, can be dangerous. All right, you have mentioned about the creativeness, and I know, I know when you want to imagine another world, mm -hmm. of what I know from the KFCB from, uh, for some time now, they have been trying to find the kind of uh, the content Kenyan people are coming up with, especially in the music industry. Yeah, yeah. We have seen the kind of content they want, and mm -hmm. you see for us even, we are a mainstream media. Mm -hmm. If you want to play a certain music, we have, we have those codes, the kind of music we can't play. The same thing is happening even to the film. Now, what makes it wrong if K KFCB has taken it upon himself to control the kind of content to try to have a morally upright society in terms of what we view either on social media or even on mainstream media? What makes it wrong is simple. That KFCB plays double standards. Because mm -hmm. KFCB is the same KFCB which will allow you to watch any kind of content that is coming from Europe, which has those scenes mm -hmm. that are there in Rafiki, but you don't allow you to watch a film like Rafiki because it feels like um, we, we cannot be able to decipher and tell ourselves what is right or wrong or which direction we want to go or not to go. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to um, the question you even asked earlier, because I want to also still reply to the question, mm -hmm. there were some things that were needed to be turned around in the CAP 222. Mm -hmm. And that's why the discussion was going on. Okay. Simple things like this. That um, 
when you take a script to KFCB, they have the sole discretion to decide whether the film should be uh, short or not. Sole discretion. While the Constitution says mm -hmm. there is freedom of artistic creativity. Mm -hmm. Already that becomes an infringement because when you give yourself the sole discretion without saying that we shall go by the Constitution, mm -hmm. then that already for me is an infringement in itself. Mm -hmm. Two, there are things in that act that were a cake and were supposed to be used by the colonizer to continue harming the native mm -hmm. in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So as an example, you are on a film set. I, I, we, we get on films. I have first aided for a long time in, on, on film sets. Mm -hmm. So you decide that um, because um, Ray was supposed to enter from left into the bedroom and don't have a bedroom here, what we'll do is let him enter from right and come into the living room, as an example, just as an example. Mm -hmm. That is a change as per KFCB that can actually make you not continue shooting. Mm -hmm. They have, and they are supposed to have, a policeman on the set with you, watching what you do. And the policeman can decide, mm -hmm. and this become very crazy things because there are, there are guidelines, there are simple things. They sound like, um, it, it sounds like a, a story from Utopia or something. Mm -hmm. like in so what we are asking is, eh, mm -hmm. can we be systematic? Mm -hmm. Can we remove those archaic laws mm -hmm. and just come up with something that's quite simple and quite understood, which is in line with the Constitution? And when we infringe the Constitution, I would say, yes, mm -hmm. please let the Constitution prevail. Mm -hmm. And if the, a film is supposed to be banned for the reasons why the Constitution I've already laid down. I, I would tell anybody who, if you are a filmmaker, hello, the constitution is quite clear. This will be banned because of these mm -hmm. infringements. But just banning for the sake of your discretion? Mm -hmm. Hello? Now, Ray, Ray I, I, I have the, the proposal here. The changes proposed by the bill appear to be catered toward expanding the scope of the board, board's mandate in relation to the regulation of advertising and online content. Now, they are moving from their core mandate coming to the film industry. Yet, uh, the, we do not have another board in this country that controls such. Is it wrong for them to try to getting to uh, having bigger share of controlling content in this country? Yeah, thank you for that question. First of all, the moral fabric of the Kenyan society is not so weak that it can be shaken by, by, by the content either that the artists are, are trying to disseminate to people or whatever is online. Mm -hmm. In the movie 12 Years a Fred, 12, 12 Years a Slave, a slave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. where Lupita Nyong'o won an, a Grammy Award for it. An Oscar? Yes, 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 sorry, an, an Oscar for it. She depicts slavery in that movie. Right. Slavery is something that is banned in Kenya under the constitution, slavery and servitude. But does it make her, or does she promote slavery? That is not the case. And I like to reiterate this, that the creative industry doesn't fear regulation. It's a good thing, every industry. But KFCB, what it has to do, it is just to provide guidelines on how, where, and how that information is supposed to be decimated. Mm. Yeah. If you watch most movies, whether it's abroad or uh, if you look at most uh, established societies, mm -hmm. you look at India, you look at Nigeria, you look at UK, you look at Canada, you look at South Africa, they regulate their movies in a way that it doesn't infringe or curtail artistic creativity. Mm -hmm. If they consider a movie is not suitable for a particular class of people or, or for a particular age, mm -hmm. the best they can do is to provide um, the parental guidelines. This movie is not for 18, mm -hmm. 15, whatever mm -hmm. and on. We, we, so we have seen those classifications even yes. on uh, movies from abroad. Yes. But also, do, do, do you think as a society we are at a point where we truly can agree or truly can adhere to the guidelines given because you are calling for the KFCB to give guidelines. Yes, they will yes. give. Yes. But do we have that moral discipline to do that? For example, we have this kind of music. I will, I will give an example with uh, like a Gengeton for, a, for quite some while. Mm -hmm. the, their music are getting banned because of the wording they are using. Others, we have seen them, the movies, the, the, the video they shoot 
it is not uh, consumable to certain group of people because if I use a matatu, I'll see these uh, kind of videos. Now, do you think KFCB is making uh, the, the, the creative industry to suffer in terms of trying to control the content they, they create? Yes, first of all, first of all, uh, the constitution of Kenya is the supreme law. Mm -hmm. So any law that tends to go against it is just null and void. So if the constitution provides for under Article 33.1, mm -hmm. that artistic creativity must be there. And under 33.2, it can only be limited, it, it can only, it, 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 it can only limi be, 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 be limited whereby if it propagates so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and such other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, if either of the content that is, it is being, that is being decimated, mm -hmm does not in any way go against under article 33 2 mm -hmm. of the constitution mm -hmm. then it will be bad for the for the for kfcb to arbitrarily go against the constitution through through their regulations mm -hmm. through their guidelines and cap 222 in fact the guidelines under kfcb mm -hmm. the kenya film classification guidelines of 2012 mm -hmm. they have not been gazetted and they lack any statutory undertones in them mm -hmm. In the petition that we took to the High Court, Petition 33-1, Wanuri Kahiu and Creative Economy versus mm -hmm. KFCB, mm -hmm. the court found out that the, the KFCB guidelines of 2012, mm -hmm. they are not law. They have not been gazetted. But the court went ahead mm -hmm. and gave them a one-year leeway to ensure that they come in tandem or they are there to the constitutional provisions. Mm -hmm. So as we speak right now, those guidelines, because they, they, they provide for such, for such kind of limitation, mm -hmm. um, such, such, such kind of limitation, they are unconstitutional. Okay. The, the only thing that the judge failed to do was to, 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 to just make a judgment that this, they are unconstitutional. But he agreed mm -hmm. they are not laws. All right. Yes. Peter, being in the creative industry. Yes. Knowing our country, who we are, and what mm. we do. Yes. Do you agree with the kind of content that we generate? Well, from uh, music to film. To a large extent, I would like to leave it to the creators. Let me say this. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, I'm Christian, mm -hmm. and being Christian, um, there are things I will not most likely agree with uh, when it comes to the Hindu religion mm -hmm. or the Buddhist religion or um, even maybe Islam, maybe. But the freedom of religion makes me understand that there has to be tolerance. I've got to let them take their path as mm -hmm. I take my path. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we coexist. And that's the same thing when it comes to artists. Mm -hmm. The artists should find out for themselves if they are constitutionally aligned or not. Mm -hmm. If they do something that's not aligned to the constitution and is banned on the grounds of the constitution, mm -hmm. I am totally with the person who bans that. Mm -hmm. But when the banning is only happening because somebody is thinking about their own moral stance, mm -hmm. then it becomes different. And I would like to say this, artists can self-regulate, mm -hmm. filmmakers can self-regulate. Filmmakers know and understand that we can do this film and we can follow Odanga, or we can follow whoever, and come with a story and show it to people. And once it gets to being shown, mm -hmm. it is the classifier to say, we will not allow this to be watched by this age group. But I don't think, mm -hmm. I don't think there's a grave, grave issue in the films that come, or even the music, that you will say ban. As an example, mm -hmm. King Kaka's song, it was Wajinga Nini? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it was Wajinga Nini, the poem, yeah. It cost a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and you could see there was actually an edge where it would very easily have been banned mm -hmm. if only King Kaka had not been King Kaka. But I think mm -hmm. because he was strong enough and was brave enough and the musicians came around and said, that music, mm -hmm. tell us what is wrong with it. Show us. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe that uh, even the KFCB realized or agreed that there was really no infringement in King Kaka's song. Mm -hmm. I'll say something. I will not be in any space where music 
is advocating for people to rape others, mm -hmm. advocating for people to kill each other and the like, because it is totally unconstitutional. Yeah. It's there in the constitution. If you cause harm, if you bring hate speech, that is unconstitutional. Once that is based on that, mm -hmm. I'll tell you for sure, I am with you, 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. But you see the, the provision of the CAP to, to so far protect the society from crime and what have you, but the bit of morality, the kind of music we will see, and what you just gave an example, we will see or we watch uh, movies from abroad which has those scenes, but now coming from our own people, from where you seated, would you be comfortable watching some film have you actually have you watched some film in the in kenyan content and you would like uh, i wish my kids were not here or i wish i was alone you know something like um i know for sure mm -hmm. pornography is banned in kenya mm -hmm. i'm one person who does not um adhere to those lines of let's watch pornography and the like i'm not in that kind of world mm -hmm. i know and i understand mm -hmm. that is me you, yeah. you understand mm -hmm. If somebody else loves to watch pornography in their own comfort, comfort of their bedrooms and the like, you mm -hmm. that's not my problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But now, if that was to appear on national TV, I'll complain. Okay? But if a person chooses that they are going to consume pornography in their own house, how am I supposed to, how does it affect me? If it does not affect me, mm -hmm. I, I just tell the person, well, that's not for me. If it's for you, that's okay. But I know for sure mm -hmm. that what is good for somebody else mm -hmm. can be bad for another. One's food is another's poison. Mm -hmm. I know for sure. So let's not make it poison for everybody mm -hmm. because it's supposed to be somebody's food. And I'm talking about pornography right time. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about creativity. Yeah. When it comes to creative uh, license, mm -hmm. let it not be a one person's uh, 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 idea mm -hmm. that this, this film should end in this manner for mm -hmm. it to be consumed. Mm -hmm. The creator is the one who decides how the film should end. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who know what they want to say. Mm -hmm. So let them be the ones who decide how it will start mm -hmm. and how it will end. Yours should be, it will be watched by these people, it will be classified in this manner, or if it is banned, it is banned for these grounds. Mm -hmm. you, you just mentioned about licensing and I know I have been limited in uh, the grievances that you have, yes. you have uh, the petition that you have, you have the licenses, how these people are making it hard for you. Other than the licensing, what else is ailing you? Other than um, licensing of the films, uh, the worst is banning films. Because, mm -hmm. I'll say it again, KFCB stands for Kenya Film Classification Board. It is not Kenya Film Censorship or Banning Board. So the B is not for censorship and banning. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be for classification board. Right. So when they come and censor mm -hmm. and they ban, we feel aggrieved. Because I know how expensive it is to just have a film rolling and starting to the end, edited and finished. It costs millions of shillings. Mm -hmm. The creative license belongs to the creator. The independence belongs to the creator. Okay. The IP, mm -hmm. the IP, intellectual property right, belongs to the creator. Mm -hmm. Let the creator create. Let each other space work on its own. Mm -hmm. Kenya Film Commission has its mandate. Right. Kenya Film Classification Board has its mandate. The artist and the creator have their mandate. Can everybody remain on their lane mm -hmm. and once the product is finished? Because then we can come and say, here to Taki, here to Nataka, Ikopo, Ikopo. Mm -hmm. After the things have come to the market, let the people be the ones to decide. He, this, this mushroom you want to, to, to give us could be poisonous, mm -hmm. yeah? but don't decide for people even before it's a, it's a killer or something mm -hmm. that it will just going to kill, whether you like it or not. Now, if you watch it, if, if you watch uh, Rocky, you will become, ultimately, all of us become bokas, even girls. Mm -hmm. If you watch uh, a vampire movie, you start sucking people's blood and the like. Mm -hmm. If you watch um, a, a film that is um, on, um, I don't know what, what to say, but just go to, for any moral fabric, mm -hmm. you end up becoming completely what you watch. Mm -hmm. We have better muscles up here. <laughs> All right, conclude as far as uh, Ray. Uh, in your peti uh, petition, what are you looking forward to and do you think it will pass? No, in petition, 
331 Uruka Youth Creative Economy versus KFC KFC board, mm -hmm. we did impugn some sections mm -hmm. of CAP 222 mm -hmm. laws of Kenya. Now, one of the problems that we had in the issue was the issue about uh, the minister, the minister having power to revoke a license or put any other condition with regard to the production of the movie. Mm -hmm. And under Article 22 of the Constitution of Kenya, mm -hmm. when you feel that your rights are being infringed or any person's rights are being infringed, you have the right to go to court specifically the High Court, Constitution on Human Rights Division, mm -hmm. to claim that your rights are being infringed yeah. upon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I do believe that, I do believe that there, there are better ways in which we can regulate the creative industry. And it's time that we repeal the entire CAP 222 mm -hmm. and come up with a law that will help the creative economy to grow. Because as per now, it's really stagnated mm -hmm. due to such kind of law. Okay. The, from the nini, from the producer of Rafiki, mm -hmm. she can tell you what laws that she has undergone through of having to produce that movie mm -hmm. and not being able to recoup the money from. Mm -hmm. And even when the conservatory orders were issued in 2018 with regards to the Rafiki movie to be watched for it to be submitted to the Oscars, mm -hmm. the tickets were sold out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. during that seven, 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 yeah, seven day period, mm -hmm. the tickets were sold out, and people and Kenyans went. Mm -hmm. And to anybody who watched Rafiki. He or she can tell you mm -hmm. it's not what the KFCB is purporting mm -hmm. yeah. to be here yeah, to, in, to, in, to intervene in and ban the movie. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. All right, uh, Peter, yes or no question? The current, current generation we have, are they acting better compared to your times? Well, uh, it cannot be a yes or no question because you asked a question that I would need an answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you see, at the end of the day, for me, I would say that... Um, we are living in different times. Yeah? We are living in very different times. And at times it's good to just understand. Because of the spaces being as liberal as they are, uh, the internet being what it is, and people consuming, uh, the, the world has become a literal global village. You can watch something right now that's happening in, the, in America, right in this particular moment mm -hmm. on, on, online. What Trump is doing, people can see it straight on. So. Uh, straight on, when people want to share stuff, whether it's good or bad, online they share it. So, morally, mm -hmm. there are some things which are not right. But I would like to still say this. It's a parental issue. It's a school issue. Okay. It is not a KFCB issue. It should be parents to take, I am a parent. Mm -hmm. I should take charge and make sure that my kids are growing up morally upright. All right. And then at the end of the day, I want to still leave it to the space of let religion deal with its bit, let schools deal with their bit, let creatives deal with their bit, let the board deal with their bit, because all of us can coexist and we can make this society better. And let me tell you, freer societies which deal with fundamental human rights to freedoms democratically are progressive compared to those that infringe on those rights. All right. That's my closing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming. And back home, thank you so much for keeping us company. They have been my guests. Peter Modamba, he's an actor. I'm no, I, I, I assume you have seen him on your screens. And Rio Danga, a lawyer, I trust you. Uh, your petition goes through. Or oh, something better comes from this and your grievances are had by the government because I'm sure at the end of the day, they will have to decide, especially the parliament. We'll